In this episode, I'm gonna be printing over a seam and I know that's not the done thing and it's highly advised that you don't do that, but that's what this series is all about. This is episode eight of Starting a Streetwear Brand. So initially, I was gonna base this episode on just doing a flat lay. Based on the last one with the 360, I thought it would be good to do a flat lay episode too. So I've been working on getting that ready, prepping a few things just to make it nice and easy for you guys to follow. And I started using these shorts that I cocked up royally last time. So as you can see, I, for some reason, decided to print way up here by the groin area, which I, I just don't know why I did that. I was just getting a little bit carried away with printing on things. Then I started thinking, actually I might mock this up properly and see how it looks when I take a proper photograph of it and then actually put the artwork on it how I want in Photoshop and then print it. Makes sense, right? So I've been thinking about this and I quite like the idea of printing along the side of the shorts rather than just on the front. I quite like the idea of going around the sides, but we've got a seam in the way. And I'm wondering if there's a way that I can still do that and make that work. So obviously if I'm gonna print on the seam, I'm gonna run into all sorts of issues. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to print down that, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to print in that gap, but you know, it, and it might look a bit weird. But again, what I could do is I could try and put the design in a certain way that falls around the seam. I don't know, we'll have to find out. But that's what it's all about. These episodes are all about exploring new things, trying it out, and if it fails, it fails, because this is already faulty. There's nothing I can do with this, so I can test on it at the very least. So I'm gonna give it a go, see how we get on, and ruin it a little bit more. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because I got these new studio lights, I'm gonna set up a little flat lay session over here on this white table. If I didn't have that, then I could quite easily use this area over here, which is behind the camera, which has loads of natural light coming in, which is perfect. And it's an overcast day as well, which is even better. So I'm also gonna use half of this backdrop stand as well. I've got this new camera attachment that I'm gonna put on. This was only seven pound from Amazon, so you can just position the camera on there and then have it dangling down. And I'm also gonna use a remote app to take the photo so I'm not knocking the camera and it's not like wobbling around when I'm playing around with things. So I can have that all set up and just use my phone to take the photos. So I'm gonna crack on, set that up and see how we go. So this is my little mini rig setup. I've got the camera connected to my phone via Bluetooth so I can control the camera. And that means I can just sit back and I don't have to touch anything. I've got the lights either side as well, one left, one right, and the camera directly above. So that's all done, snapped that using my phone. And it's such a nicer way of working as well. Like I find that if I'm doing a flat lay and I'm taking it myself, then I, you know, I, I kind of tense up, I lock up a little bit. And like when you're hunched over, it kind of does your back in. Um, so having that just is just a nicer way to do it. Um, just controlling it, take the photo on your app. As you can see, like so, so simple to use. And it allows you to really position the garment and take your time and see how it's actually gonna come out on the screen. So yeah, I think it's a really worthwhile thing doing. This is what I initially had in mind, is to print this with the coordinates along the bottom. Um, but I think it's probably gonna be a bit too much of a tight squeeze. I feel like I could actually stretch the shorts a little bit. You know, if I have them in the pattern, then it might actually work. Also, I thought potentially of using the spring summer as well. So I just tape off limited edition and 2022 and that middle line as well and just have that left and right. I think that looked quite nice as well. So anyway, I feel like the best thing to do is to get it on the computer, make a little mock up, position the artwork with the size that I know I've got to hand along the shorts and see what design looks the best. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the image that we took in Photoshop. And this is essentially what I had in mind was to wrap the coordinates around the leg like that. Whether it's doable or not is another question. I don't know, um, but I like the look of it. So let's see how it turns out. So something that's just occurred to me on the inside of this seam is where the fabric is doubled up, where it's stitched over. So this bit here, 
So if I'm to just put that down flat on the platen, that's not gonna be an even surface. So I was thinking of getting some card, cut a little strip down the middle, um, or even cut it in two halves and just put it up tight next to the seam. So essentially then I'd spray tack either side of the card so it can go on the platen and on the fabric. And then hopefully that will make the surface a little bit flatter and I'll get a nice cleaner print. Only one way to find out, let's give it a go. So I've got a new custom palette set up. So this is gonna be great for things like shorts, joggers, inside of a jacket perhaps, all those little small things that are a little bit awkward to get to. When I've sized up the shorts on there, because this is measured to be for shorts essentially, um, when you put it up against the screen, the coordinate bit is just way too big. So it's not gonna work on this occasion. But actually I think that's a good thing to have discovered that because I've got the coordinates in the studio and 8-bit on the other side of the shorts. So it doesn't make sense to necessarily have that on the front twice. So I'm gonna have the spring summer going around the side instead. And I think that looked just as good. So if anything, I think it's a win-win situation. So unfortunately, that didn't work out how I was hoping, but I think I have a workaround. So in terms of how it looks, I really like it. And um, so you'll see, I've done two print tests. The bottom one is the test with the cardboard underneath, and it's actually come out better than I thought. Even across the seam as well, it's like right down deep in the seam. Um, and then the top one was with nothing underneath, no card underneath to support it on either side. And it's come out really gloopy where the fabric is layered up. So what I think I need to do is instead of allowing a little gap down the middle for the seam, I think I need to cut out another piece of card, but just have one piece. So the reason why I had a bit of an issue in the middle on the edge of the seam was because it was getting through the gap. So this gap was too wide and it's too hard to control as well. It's way too hard. Like you can't just have it really tight. It just wants to move around and it's just, not working so I tried to put it on the platen and then put the shorts on top that didn't work either so I need this to be one solid piece so you could tape it or you could do something like that but what but I don't think that would last I think taping would be a bit of a nightmare so what I'm going to try and do is use what's already part of this so this corrugated bit in the middle I'm just gonna cut a strip take the top layer of the card off take a little bit out of that middle bit and then hopefully that'll just be a nice solid piece i can just lay down on top of it and it'll be a lot more easier to work with that's the thought process anyway whether it works out is another matter so let's give that a go <laughs> I managed to crack it. I am proper happy with that. Um, ignore the bit at the top as well. I got a little bit lazy with the tape. I could see it was slipping, but it didn't really bother me because I'm only doing tests. So ignore that top line. The seam as well. I don't know how the ink has gone in there, but it has. So that's brilliant. And it did that on the other tests as well, actually. That was like the bit that I was worried about most. So I'm going to clean up this, get that all sorted out. And then tomorrow I'm going to go at this with the white ink on the black shorts and hopefully have a nice finished prototype. I 
Okay, so we've got the first prototype ready for the shorts and I must admit, I'm really happy with the look and feel of these. Although I must admit, I am having a bit of a dilemma with the risk versus reward. I feel like there's a lot of potential for this to go wrong if I'm gonna commit to printing over a seam. I understand that it's not the done thing and it's not a standard way to do stuff. So I might put that on ice, I don't know. But I could really use your opinion as well. So drop a, a message in the comments to let me know whether you think I should commit to that or whether I should park it and just do the, the front print. So if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you wanna be notified when the next one drops, hit subscribe. And in the meantime, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.